All right, let's go over this thing. Make sure all our straps are tight. The one I'm worried about is in the back. I haven't looked at it since. Just kind of hoping I didn't lose any straps. Looks like one's already fallen. No, we didn't lose that one, but that one fell. Not too bad. Go tighten them other two up and be done with it. Cool. Yeah, the wireless remote was down back in here underneath all the other straps, so I lost that. But let's get this thing uh, put back on. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of air in the bags just to kind of make the ride a little nicer, bring that back end up. Uh, I think I had them at 50 before, but I'm gonna pop them up to 80 for this guy here. Let's see how this thing's doing. Oh yeah, she ain't going anywhere. That's awesome. Ugh. Other than that, I got my straps retightened. Um, I have the winch tight. So that like if anything were to happen, it's not gonna fall off. But like this is probably one of those just like how do you actually strap one of these things? You know? Oh man. I do like this strap here. Like I can at least go over the wheel here. But like it's back these guys here that you really can't. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a scale ticket. I was I filled up yesterday at the TA in New Jersey. And there was a pilot next to it and not one of those places had a scale so i couldn't weigh myself i wanted to weigh myself empty but i couldn't so whatever um i'm just gonna throw some air in the bags now scale me out and you guys can see we have so much more distance back here uh, i flipped the ball around and it kind of sucks because i was running this to here um like I've seen other guys do and when the ball was closer to the front I could make wide turns all day now that I've moved it back six inches not only am I 67 and a half feet but every time I'd take a sharp turn like going over a mountain or something it would pull the the breakaway controller out and then bam I have locked up brakes that sucked all right we're about to pull out we are I just went and got a scale ticket uh, with I only I didn't use like the full tank but like I have half a tank in the one in the main tank and then you know a full tank at the back. So I weigh 23,500 pounds. So we are well underweight, guys. Well underweight. So let's get this thing out of here and what are you doing? Dude, people nobody wants to learn how to drive these days. So let's go on the road. 12 and a half hours to go. We'll be dropping tomorrow. All right, well there goes our, we're in Maryland, first whale, uh, scale house with the new labels on. And I, I pulled a little too far over the scale. They said back up, you know, go over it, but I only weigh 23.5. GVW's on the window, says 26,000, ain't hiding anything. Which I even have the VIN number on the truck. So if there was like any legal, like nothing is hidden with those labels, with the VIN number and all that. They know the owner of the truck, so that means we're good in Maryland. We are good. Um, first scale house. I'm surprised they were open on a Sunday, but we'll see how the rest of the trip goes. But yeah, we we got the, the green exit to I-95. All right, stopping at a Wendy's. Trying to figure out how to get out of here, because there's a spot, like, I could probably, like, back in here, but, like, I don't even know how to get out. And this says... The only exit is like down over there, so it's like I'm probably gonna end up having to back out. This ain't gonna be fun. All right, just fancy backed her without taking the shades off, blind side back. Got out of it. Didn't take long actually. It was pretty simple. They gave me way, way more room than I needed. All right, we're a couple miles south of the border. Uh, I decided to stop at Burger King again, even though I stopped at Wendy's earlier. And they don't have mozzarella sticks, but you know what they do have. A load of three on my trailer. That's what they have in their parking lot. I only took up eight spots. And this thing hasn't come loose in a while, so we're good there. Um, other than that, maybe, yeah, perfect. So aside from that, we'll be dropping sometime tomorrow. 
and only one scale house has been open the whole way down so and i looked at the scale ticket earlier so i am and i, I crossed uh it was only the maryland scale and the truck from the factory came with a 6,000 pound rear axle but with the dually swap uh, i have 8560 pounds on the rear axle so never had an issue with that um I, I see so many people complaining about all oh, your weights are off this and that and it's like i had my own authority before i had a second truck like this a 2500 with a dually swap and i ran that for a year with both of these trucks with the dually swaps not one dot officer has ever given me an issue for these being 2500 with a rear dually swap rules change you don't know everything i don't know everything so these this is coming from people who've never been through the situation who can't quote anything in the book like you guys can see uh gvwr 9000 and then we also have 5200 pound front axle a uh, 6000 pound rear axle so if you went off of these numbers that's 11,200 pounds but the gvws are only 9000 so it's kind of weird how they do it but yeah i've never had an issue and people telling me oh that's illegal your weights are off I guarantee you've never done it so keep quiet about stuff like that because honestly like you can make up whatever rules you want but until you can actually show me where i'm wrong there's no point in commenting because i've been doing it it's it's been a while since i've been doing this and i've literally never had a problem and i've i've had my own authority to two with two 2500 trucks all right so i made it to a, a ta here i just went to walmart because apparently i haven't done an oil change in a while and they have every one of the lights off, but it's 262. So it's 323 on here, but it's 262 when I go to fill up. So you bet your ass, I'm gonna be filling up here. Oh, look at that. They turned the lights on, finally. Um, 73 gallons, not too bad, but it is uh, definitely a nice fuel savings, 262. So here's everything. It's going over the load and everything. Now, I wanna, want you guys to keep in mind, you guys see how see how i have these you know nice and nice and close like that's how i always do it but on this thing it's awkward now i get you know someone mentioned that i could go over over top of that but like i'm used to going over the wheel this one's clearly on but the problem is if i bring this strap all the way back you know then these get in the way and i can't you know it, it's too small it's too long of a strap to do that so unfortunately i can't do that um, I have them wrapped around over here really close around the suspension uh, same with over here you guys can see tight and then up here around the suspension and you know as close as I can well not that one but so aside from that I'm gonna go in and get my receipt we got 40 minutes of driving left till I'm at a pilot or a loves I can't remember which one and uh, yeah then we're done for the day so all right, today's the big day. We're gonna be dropping these guys off. Two of them, two of them at least. We're dropping the Subaru and we're dropping the golf cart with the elliptical. So that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Have a good one.